Hi and welcome. Today I'm using this lovely cabbage, probably produced in Britain, so it doesn't have to travel too far. Uh, it's also super cheap and it's full of nutrients. Uh, so good for us. Hardly no calories at all. So I want to make a dish, really old time Swedish dish that we normally make with uh, meat, but I'm going to make it a vegan version of it and it has that sort of old style Swedish taste to it, but it's going to be vegan. Uh, it's called kol pudding, so it's basically cabbage pudding, but we use the word pudding not as a sweet, but as a, what do we use it for? Like if something is like cooked together and a little bit like wobbly, I don't know. Anyway, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, so this is all you need for this really simple dish that the kids like and it's super healthy. So first of all, I buy these tempeh. It's minced tempeh. So, you know, if you want to have it vegan, go for this. Uh, otherwise, just use ordinary minced meat. I've got two packs of that. Cabbage, uh, just white, ordinary white cabbage. This is about a kilo. So they were so small in the shop, so I had to buy two and this is one and a bit but it's about one kilo a yellow onion coconut oil now i have vegan honey you can have ordinary honey if you want to i don't mind ordinary honey i just happen to have vegan honey sometimes i make it with maple syrup instead of honey it's just i've run out of maple syrup so i'm going to use this uh, a little bit of stock powder these are my new salt and pepper. Love them. Got them at H&M. They are so cute. Um, here I got some salt as well. And a bit of cream. We have a lot of cream in Swedish cooking. This is soya cream. Um, I'm going to use about half a cup of that. Also, I'm going to use an egg replacer. If you are happy to have an egg in there, go ahead. But I'm going to use this. Um, one tablespoon of this mixed with one tablespoon of water and also some tamari so this is basically gluten-free soy sauce and that's it turn the oven on to about 190 start by cutting up the cabbage to that sort of size that's all down now we're going to melt a little bit of coconut oil in this is a cast iron pan. I would never in my life use an ordinary non-stick one. This is the best and safest for us as human beings and for mother nature as well. I put all your cabbage in, sort of a medium heat and let it soften in the pan. I put in a little at a time and then let it soften and then I put some more in. Now everything is in here and I let it soften for a few minutes and now I'm going to take my vegan honey, two tablespoons. We do like sugar in our food in Sweden. <laughs> a teaspoon of salt and pepper. mix it up and put it to one side okay now you need a mixing bowl and we're going to cut up the onions and put everything in this bowl and mix that up really well the onions finely chopped next my egg replacer and remember if you don't have anything against eggs then use that instead that's absolutely fine and I have sometimes in the past done that um, so I just do this mix it up and let it just those two mix together and then I put everything else in in no particular order some pepper half a cup of um, cream and this is soya but have any cream you feel like stock powder one tablespoon and tempeh minced tempeh and i have two of these in and this is instead of minced meat the traditional 
uh, cold pudding in Sweden is with minced meat. So this is a vegan, a bit more modern version. Two tablespoons of tamari. And another tablespoon of honey or maple syrup. And half a teaspoon of salt. Mix this together. And now you need an oven dish. Fill it with half of the cabbage, like that. And then all of this tempeh mix, all of that protein, you could say. And I have to say, mm, it's, it's super, super tasty. And then put it all in. Flatten it out a bit. And then on top, you put the rest of the cabbage. And now you put this in the oven for 40 minutes and it's sort of sort of 190 degrees, almost 200 for 40 minutes. And then bish bash bosh, you got the whole lovely vegan meal with proteins in there and loads of cabbage. So good for you. And here it is after 40 minutes in the oven. You can serve with just a green salad or green beans or anything like that. Yeah, so that's a, a recipe that people in Sweden used to eat for, I don't know, hundreds of years, maybe, maybe hundreds of years, yeah, maybe. Yeah, so that's a, a, a typical old-time Swedish recipe made vegan. I'm sure nobody was vegan at that time when they came up with this recipe, so, but it has the same sort of flavours to it, basically. And, as I said, um, and we want to use stuff with cabbage, it's so good for us. Did you watch my how to use fermented lemons videos? Um, then you might have seen part of a video where I made these like lemon bites and they are these other ones. I cut them up and keep them in the freezer and then I take them out. And sometimes I use them as a little pudding for the kids. So then what I do is I take a little square and then I use this vegan cream. It's called Schlager cream. I don't know, is it German? It's possible, I don't know. And then I just put some of that on and it becomes a little pudding. And uh, kids love that, of course, because they love squirty cream. Mm. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please like and subscribe and come back for the next one. Take care, bye.